everybody, this is Armart, and I know that normally we work on drawing and I put speed paints on everywhere, <laughs> but today I wanted to take a little bit more of a look at the perspectives and the principles of art that we see in art every day. So I'm going to use one of my favorite books that's not going to be unfamiliar to a lot of you. It's going to be The Art of Big Hero 6, the animation film produced by Disney Studios. And we're going to take a closer look at how the concept art utilizes all of these principles in its modern rendition of San Francisco. Here we are in front of two pictures of Disney's animation concept art for Big Hero 6. I've blown them up for a bigger size so that you all can see the detail that goes into all of the art and hard work that these artists have produced to create this film. Now, Disney Animation Studios is famous for creating films with lifelike settings in an animation format. And so we're going to take a closer look at some of the artists that have gone into these concept designs so that we can see how San Francisco, the city of Big Hero 6, has been brought to life through art and using the principles of art. I want to talk a little bit more about the inspiration, what came behind these images. So let's take a look at the quote here in the corner. I'm going to use a red highlighter so that you guys can see exactly where I'm talking about and at what time. Scott Watanabe is the art director of environments for Disney Animation Studios in the production of this film, Big Hero 6. He says he wanted to figure out a logical explanation for a mashup city that could exist. So he came up with the idea that after the 1906 earthquake in San Francisco, Japanese immigrants rebuilt the place using techniques to allow movement and flexibility in a seismic event. Just from this comment alone, you can already understand where the inspiration of these art pictures are coming from. You'll notice that there is a mashup between the US city, San Francisco, and the Japanese city, Tokyo, in Scott Watanabe's concept art design of the Golden Gate Bridge. You'll also notice that there's a big focus on lighting. So let's take a closer look at the lighting of these images. In order to do that, I'm going to look at Paul Felix's image. He's another artist and production designer of the film Big Hero 6. The lighting is one of the most noticeable features of the film. And you can see it here and here as it spreads outward and brings in this element of realism to the piece and this natural feeling of when the light hits and the different times of day. You can see that the lighting is coming from the back of the image. When the lighting comes from the back of the image, it draws the reader toward that light, but it also illuminates everything around it. So all of these objects and all of these people down here and the armor is being illuminated by this central point. And that focal point is going to be where the image is leading your eye toward. The lighting accomplishes this by using a contrast of light and dark. Color combinations also accomplish this. You see that here on the sides that the lighting is very, very dark. And when you move toward the light, it gets brighter. There's a clear white area and a clear black area. Colors in the black area have black tones to them that allow for a shade. Areas in the white have white added to them and it causes highlight. This allows your eye to move toward that light because it continues to get brighter as it moves more distant. This also causes a perspective change by moving backward, which creates a narrow alleyway. The placement of the elements of this picture also adds into this contrast and the distancing between the light and the dark. The character himself is pointing toward the light. His movement and his angle that the triangle created out of this character is still pointing toward the light. So it's moving your eye, whether you think about it or not, toward that center. The movement produced by all of these details creates a clear path that is further indicated by our heroes like I mentioned before. This path is clearly outlined by all of these details pointing back toward the light. At first glance, you see all of this chaos of color and light and movement and it all directs you into this circle at the center of each of these pieces. All of these elements kind of work together. When you take a closer look, you're meant to engage with it all at once and, have the de and all the details are made, purposefully arranged, to blend together. I'm going to stop it there for today. If I didn't stop now, I could go on forever. Hey everybody, 
everybody, this was Armar and we looked at the principles of art in Big Hero 6 showing how modern art also uses some of these old principles such as color, contrast, and lighting to direct the viewer's eye and pull you into the scene so that you feel you're a part of the film, and in this case the animation produced by the artist. Thank you for watching!